The speed of light limit applies to objects moving through space, not to space itself expanding. So the universe isn't breaking any speed limits, it's just playing by its own rules. Our universe is a vast, incredible place, filled with galaxies, stars, planets, and so much more. It's like the biggest playground you can imagine, and it's still growing. Now, think about light. The fastest thing we know zips through space at about 300,000 kilometers per second. That's so fast that it could go around the Earth seven and a half times in just one second. Light is our cosmic messenger. It brings us information from distant stars and galaxies. Without light, we wouldn't know much about the universe at all. Understanding the speed of light is crucial because it sets a cosmic speed limit. Nothing can travel faster than light through space, or can it? So, we know the universe is a vast expanse of galaxies and stars, but did you know it's getting bigger every second? Since the Big Bang about 13.8 billion years ago, the universe has been expanding, not from an explosion, but from the rapid stretching of space itself, a phenomenon first observed by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s. Rather than galaxies simply moving, it's the fabric of space between them that's expanding, a process occurring everywhere and accelerating due to dark energy. Think of it like dots on a balloon. As the balloon inflates, the dots move apart, not because they're moving on their own, but because the balloon's surface is expanding. So, can the universe expand faster than light travels? While light speed limits objects that travel in space, it doesn't apply to the expansion of space itself. Space can expand so fast that distant galaxies appear to move away from us at speeds exceeding that of light. This doesn't mean these galaxies are zooming through space faster than light. Instead, it's the space between galaxies that's expanding rapidly. It's about space itself getting bigger. This expansion can happen at any rate. It's not limited by the speed of light because it's a different kind of movement. It's like having a rule that you can't run faster than a certain speed but then the ground beneath you starts stretching and carries you along faster than you could ever run. In our cosmic neighborhood, galaxies seem to be moving relatively slowly away from each other. But as we look further out into the more distant reaches of the universe, we see galaxies moving away faster and faster. This variation in expansion rates is described by Hubble's Law, named after Edwin Hubble, whom we mentioned earlier. Hubble's law states that the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away from us. Why does this happen? It's all about the stretching of space. Over small distances, the stretching is less noticeable, but over vast cosmic distances, the effect becomes much more pronounced. So, this expansion is not limited by the speed of light. But what does this mean for us, the observers, and our understanding of the cosmos? One major consequence is the concept of the observable universe. The observable universe includes all the parts of the universe that we can, in principle, observe. Why just in principle? Because the light from some parts of the universe hasn't had enough time to reach us, due to the rapid expansion of space. This means there are regions of the universe we can never see, no matter how powerful our telescopes become. They're receding faster than their light can travel to us. It's like trying to catch a wave that's moving away faster than you can swim. Another implication is the fate of the universe. This faster-than-light expansion, driven by dark energy, could determine how the universe will evolve. Will it keep expanding forever, or is there another cosmic twist in storm? Scientists are still trying to answer these questions. This expansion also challenges our intuition. We're used to things moving within space, but here we have space itself carrying galaxies away. It's a reminder that the universe operates on laws and scales that can seem quite alien to our everyday experiences. Lastly, it's about the limits of our knowledge. Despite our advancements in science and technology, there are still mysteries out there in the universe waiting to be uncovered. It's a humbling and exciting thought for any aspiring astronomer or curious mind. Now, let's clear up some misconceptions. First up, the idea that the universe violates the speed of light is false. The speed of light limit applies to objects moving through space, not to space itself expanding. 
so the universe isn't breaking any speed limits, it's just playing by its own rules. Another misconception is that if the universe is expanding, we should see everything moving away from us. But that's not the case for objects bound by gravity, like galaxies in a cluster. They stay together despite the overall expansion of the universe. And here's a big one. The misconception that the Big Bang happened at a specific point in space. In reality, the Big Bang happened everywhere in space, as it was the beginning of space itself expanding. There's no central point where it all started. Let's take a moment to explore the current research and the big questions that scientists are still trying to answer about our ever-expanding universe. One of the hottest topics in astronomy is dark energy. This mysterious force is driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. But what exactly is dark energy? That's a huge question, and scientists are using powerful telescopes and advanced simulations to try to understand it. Another area of active research is measuring the rate of the universe's expansion, known as the Hubble constant. There's a bit of a puzzle here. Different methods of measuring this rate are giving slightly different results. Resolving this discrepancy is a major goal for astronomers. Then there's the ultimate fate of the universe. Will it keep expanding forever, or is there a limit? Could it eventually start contracting? These questions link to the nature of dark energy and the overall mass and energy content of the universe. Scientists are also exploring the very early universe. The first few moments after the Big Bang are still shrouded in mystery. Understanding this era could provide clues about why the universe is the way it is today. And let's not forget about the possibility of other universes. The concept of a multiverse, where our universe is just one of many, is a fascinating idea that's gaining attention. It's speculative, but who knows what discoveries might lie ahead. As you can see, the field of cosmology is bustling with questions and research. Each discovery leads to new mysteries, and that's what makes studying the universe so thrilling. If you enjoyed this journey through space and time, make sure to like and share this video. Your support helps us bring more amazing content to all our fellow space enthusiasts. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.